Britain's third quartet is one of his last major works, uh, composed in 1975 and not performed until a few weeks after his death in 1976. It's strange that for somebody who, as a, as a young composer, was writing many quartets, there is a huge gap between the second and third quartets. It's in fact a gap of 30 years between the two. And in a sense he was returning to a form that was very important to him. It has five movements, um, and Britain rather modestly thought of it as a divertimento while he was composing it. I had the extraordinary experience of working with him in this period and, and playing it through at the piano with him. And it was particularly moving to play through the extraordinary finale, this long passicalia, uh, which achieves a, a, a remarkable serenity. Uh, he composed it after he'd returned from a holiday in Venice, and it's suffused with the bells of Venice, the, the passicalia theme comes actually from bells he heard from the hotel he was staying in. We played through the quartet at this piano in the library here. Um, and when it was complete, he asked my brother David to come with me and to, we played it through as a piano duet. When we reached the end, and we were quite devastated by it, written in a small voice said, is it any good? Uh, and I think we reassured him that it was. Mm. 